All right, so this is kind of interesting. I have this West Array leaning, tilting at 55 degrees. Then I have my Center Array, which is 180 degrees south, at 50 degrees, because we're getting into optimal point is, I think our highest moment of the sun, whatever that time is, 1.13 in the afternoon. I think it's like 48 degrees at this time in the year. So you can see this ice buildup on the surface. Hopefully that's coming through. All right, here we go. Yeah, so there's all this ice buildup from it melting by draining too slow. So it's, uh, what is it, March 22, something like that. And uh, I just blew it off with the blower, which is, works really good. Um, I have a extension squeegee as well, like a painter stick that extends out, but I can't reach the top foot on the center array at 50 degrees. These guys, I've got about eight inches left. When it's vertical at 75 degrees, I can reach the top of all of these, except, except the last two on this array, on the center array, on the left end, because it's just a little low in the ground there. So if you can get on totally flat ground and have no sloping hills under your array, awesome. Because I have like a, quite a, a downhill slope there. And then uh, this one, you can maybe see this. Let me back up. Yeah, yeah you can see that. There's a, quite a difference in height. So I got as low as I could so I don't get snow piled up with drop. And then that one, of course, a little closer here and it gets higher over there. Hello, puppy. Yes, hello, you're getting big. And uh, so yeah, there's ice formation on the surface because the drainage is too slow. We had pretty good sun yesterday. I think I was pulling uh, 15 kilowatts for, uh, for a spell. It was really, really spotty, but these ones don't have any ice. No uh, surface ice on them, only the 50 degree one. So that five degree change made quite a difference. Um, and the critical factor of making sure you don't have any snow on, it's huge. People who say, oh, don't worry about it. The sun will take care of it. It'll melt it off. No, it, they're, they're wrong. <laughs> Pure and simple. I was pulling 1,500 kilowatts. And with this sun now, I don't know if I can show you that, I'll probably be pulling five kilowatts. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, you you have to get the snow off. You have to, you can't have stuff on your, on your uh, panels. So, I was good last week with this tilt. It was perfect. Um, but then, of course, we got this weird late snow from the uh, planes doing those beautiful little cloudy jet stream crosshairs. Uh, we had probably the same two planes, but there you were. Uh, one was flying, and there was a crosshair this way, then a perfect 90 degree this way, then over, like, over Edmonton, there was another one. It was perfect crosshair, and they were like, from way over there all the way over there and magically you know jet uh oh and then there's another one over here that like a big crosshair so are they trying to poison us or are they just actually seeding the uh trying to gather the moisture so we get more moisture on the ground are they for good or for bad i don't know but weird because we were super warm and beautiful and sunny and we're supposed to have a bit of cloud and then magically snow and the weather network's not even showing snow and it's actually snowing there's like four inches of snow on the ground and and they don't say anything that there's any yeah what's that three inches of fluffy snow um they didn't say anything about any snow coming it's actually falling snow for the day previous day and that day I'm like oh my gosh so i guess their uh, pre-analysis was a little bit wrong since there was snow on the ground anyway you got to get the snow off of your panels because it blocks all your power um again i had that really i should have showed you before but it was super light fluffy snow I and mean, this stuff just the blower just turns it into nothing um but regardless it takes all your power away so there you go